The city of Aurora, Colorado is paying nearly $2 million because of what happened in this video. Police body cam footage showing officers holding four black girls at gunpoint, their faces down on the pavement of a parking lot. The youngest, a six-year-old girl named Love, wearing a pink tiara, grasps her teenage cousin's hand and watches as officers cuff her mom, Brittany Gilliam, and put her in a police car. I was livid. I was more scared than anything because all I could hear was their crying and their screams. <laughs> a day the girls intended to be fun had turned into another flashpoint for a city already embroiled in racial controversies involving police. Brittany Gilliam and her family, including uh, four kids ages six through 17, were out looking to get their nails done and have a fun girls day out. They had stopped in a parking lot to figure out where they wanted to go. That's when the four girls encounter with police began as a patrol vehicle made its way towards Gilliam's SUV. They pulled up the plate. The plate came back stolen on the first hit. They stopped. They drew their guns. They ordered everyone out of the car at gunpoint. Uh, Brittany got out of the car on the driver's side and they ordered all these kids out on the passenger side. And one by one, they put these kids face down on hot pavement in August including a six-year-old little girl. However, the vehicle had not been stolen. According to the New York Times, police later admitted they had mistakenly identified the car, saying the plate numbers were similar to the one reported stolen. Now, more than three years later, the four girls and their mother are receiving a settlement with the city for $1.9 million. The family sued Aurora for what they called profound and systemic racism, their lawyer said. The city confirmed the settlement and said in a statement, the Aurora Police Department remains committed to strengthening the relationship with the community through accountability and continuously improving how it serves the public. An investigation by prosecutors found no evidence the officer committed any crimes, in part because they were following their training for a high-risk stop as they suspected the car to be stolen. But the family's attorney says there's no excuse for what happened, considering the history of policing in the city. It was just absolutely appalling that these robo-cops from the same agency, I might add, that killed Elijah McClain would put little little children on the ground at gunpoint for any reason at all. In 2021, the city reached a settlement of $15 million with the family of Elijah McLean after the 23 year old black man died after being stopped by police while walking down the street in 2019. McLean was placed in a neck hold and injected with a sedative, killing him as a result. One officer was convicted in his death. Two officers were acquitted and two paramedics were also convicted. McLean's settlement is not the first one involving allegations of police brutality. The New York Times found the city settled at least 11 police brutality cases from 2003 to 2018, a total of $4.6 million. Following McLean's death, a state civil rights investigation launched in response to protest revealed a deeply ingrained culture of racially biased policing in the department. As for the settlement involving Gilliam and the girls, Lane told the New York Times the agreement had been reached months ago, but remained confidential until this week because children were involved. The settlement money will be divided evenly among Gilliam and the four girls. The younger girls will have their money given out in annuities, so the amount will grow by the time they're 18 and have access to the funds.